Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 4 to the power of square root of x to be equal to square root of 5, 1, 2 to the power of x. This looks complicated, but if you know what you're going to do, it is not. Now, this is what we'll do first. We have 4 to the power of root x, which will be equal to 512 to the power of x. And then the whole of this is to the power of 1 over 2 because of the square root. Now, let's continue with this. Now, can we write 512 to have 4 as the base? No. Okay? Because 4 to the power of... Um, 4 is 256 and then 4 to the power of 5 is already more than 512 so what do we do let's reduce 4 4 is the same as 2 squared right then we have square root of x over there which will be equal to now 2 here is the same thing 512 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 9 Okay, so multiply by this x, I mean, so I have 9x, but then 1 over 2 is still outside because I have not multiplied. Okay, now let's multiply the powers because there's a law that says if you have a to the power of x to the power of y, it is the same thing as a to the power of xy because you will just multiply the powers. Okay. Now from here, we have 2 to the power of 2 root x, which will be equal to, here we are going to have 2 to the power of 9x times 1 over 2. That would be 9x over 2. And now we have the same base. Therefore, we can work with the powers, meaning that 2 root x is equal to 9x over 2. Now, what should I do first? Somebody will be thinking that these two can cancel these two, but the answer is no, it can't cancel because if you are to cross multiply, these two will multiply everything on this side. So it's going to be two, okay, multiply by two root x equal to nine x times one, which will be nine x. Okay, and then if we multiply, then we're going to have 4 root x, which will be equal to 9, 9x. Now, what should I do in this case? I need to remove this um, square root from here first. And I will do that by squaring both sides. Then the whole of this will be squared. Now, this is the same thing as 4 squared multiplied by square root of x squared. And it will be equal to 9 squared multiplied by x squared. Okay, so that you don't make a mistake there. Now, 16 is here because 4 squared is 16. Then this and this can cancel. So we have 16x on the left hand side, which will be equal to 9 squared is 81. Then I have x squared over there. And now I want to rearrange this. So we're going to rearrange this so that we will have from um, it 1x squared to be equal to 16x. Now somebody will be saying why is 16x not negative now? Okay, it doesn't have to be negative because if 16x is equal to it 1x squared, then it 1x squared should also be equal to 16x. That's what I've done. Now the next thing we're going to do is this factorization right what is common to them we have um let's continue what is common to them is x so if x comes out here we have it one x oh i have to bring everything to the left hand side first let me do it here so we have it one x squared minus 16 x equal to zero this is now quadratic equation right now from here we can now factorize because x is here and it's over there. It's out as a common factor. Then it's 1x will be here minus 16 because x has already come out 
right and the whole of this is equal to zero okay so if you're getting this please subscribe to my channel and then turn on the notification button okay now from here now let's apply our zero product rule because x is already out so it is either x is equal to zero or it's one minus okay it's one x minus 16 is equal to zero now our x remains zero or it's one x will be equal to 16 that is 0 plus 16 is 16 now x here remains 0 or you know we have to divide both sides by 8 to 1 here so x will be equal to 16 over 8 to 1 let's bring the two solutions together x is equal to 0 or 16 over 8 to 1 let's go back to the original equation and check it out okay so this is the original equation 4 to the power of x equal to the power of square root of x equal to square root of 5 square root of 512 to the power of x now if we put in the value of x are we going to have both sides equal let's try it out so if i put 4 over here I'm going to have everything, I'm going to have this raised to the power of 0, okay, because um, x is now 0, and then on this side, this is 5, 1, 2, to the power of 0, because x is 0, right? This will give me 4 to the power 0, or here now we're going to have square root of 1, because 512 to the power of 0 is 1. Now 4 to the power 0 is 1. Or square root of 1 is 1 and this is a confirmation that x is equal to 0 satisfies the equation now st straight to the second solution is going to be 4 to the power of square root of 16 over 81 because we have that um, x is now 16 over 81 right okay so on the right hand side we will have square root of 512 to the power of 16 over 81. Let's continue. So that's from here, we are going to have 4 to the power of square root of 16 is 4 and square root of 81 is 9. This is what we have. But then I can even reduce this to, you know, 2 because 4 is 2 squared, right? So we have 2. Then times 4, we have um, 8 over 9. Okay, so this is what we have on the left-hand side. 2 to the power of 8 over 9. Now, let's try the other side here. From here, I told you that um, 512 is 2 to the power of 9, right? Okay, so now we have power of 16 over 8 to 1. This is interesting. And then if we continue, we'll have square root of 2. Now, 9 into 8 to 1 is 9. So that means we're going to have 16. 16 over, over 9, right? So we're going to have 16 over 9. That is what we have over there. But now, remember that it is still under the square root sign. So to remove this square root, we'll have 2 to the power of 16 over 9 everything to the power of 1 over 2 because of the square root now 2 into 16 is 8 so meaning that we are having 2 to the power of 8 over 9 now check what we have what we had on the right hand side and what we are having on the left hand side okay so this is for the left hand side and this is for the right hand side both of them are the same so this is a confirmation that um, these two solutions satisfy the equation. Thank you for watching.